Hello everybody, it is the one, the only, your girl fancy with Okay, so today's tips for Tuesday. Juicy crap. Okay, as you all may know or may not know, I was totally like all awful this week with migraines and everything. Um, so those of you that know the word of the Lord, pray for me. Like I've been vexed like with these migraines on and off, on and off a lot lately. So let's keep me in prayer for that. Now let's turn your Bible. You're not turning your Bible, you're listening to me, but turn your mind to Leviticus 11. So you're like, fancy, why are you talking about juicy crab? Here it is. So a lot of religions, Christian, um, p even people that are Christian believe this and then other um, types of religions believe that we are not supposed to eat shrimp and crab legs and all that stuff, you know, and I just enjoyed some great stuff at Juicy Crab. Ha ha ha. But anyway, what does the Bible say about that? That's what we're going to talk about. So in Leviticus 11, you will find all the dietary restrictions that God had put on the children of Israel, okay? This is a particular group of people. If you notice in the Bible that um, everything, I'm trying to talk really quick so you can get this all, that everything works in dispensation. A dispensation is a period of time that God deals with man in a certain way and it usually ends in judgment. Okay, so um, everybody has their thing and then different groups had different things that was for them. So these dietary restrictions were for the Israelites. This all happened in the Old Testament. Testament. As we know, Jesus died on the cross in the New Testament and that changed So here we everything. are now at Mark 7, 19, where um, Jesus declared all foods clean. And so um, God gave the apostle Peter this vision. He's like seeing all these animals that used to be unclean or whatever. And so he was like, but God, I thought we weren't supposed to eat that stuff. Like what you talking about now? And God was like, don't call anything that I bless unclean. So uh, do not call anything um, pure that God has made clean. So that was God even saying like, okay, you don't have to do this. Like this was for them. It's not even for y'all. You know what I'm saying? Um, so anyway, Jesus came, he died on the cross and that was for every Everything. Like Lord, at this point, yes. come down in flesh, called himself Jesus, his son, and taken the weight of our sin on him. And so at this point, you know, that everything, everything is done away with because he is the official sacrifice, the official lamb. So there's no like, don't eat this, don't eat that. All it is, is like, listen, I have come that you might have life and that you might have life more abundantly. And I'll tell you that some good shrimp and some good crab legs from the Juicy Crab is a little bit of having life more abundantly. Now I'm teasing. It's a y'all fancy, guys. I hope you learned a little bit today. You can look it all up. Mark 7, 19, Acts 10, 15, uh, Romans 10, 4, Galatians 3, 24 to 26, and Ephesians 2, 15. If you don't believe what I'm saying, I love y'all. I'll see you next you week. It's tips for Tuesday. bless it in Thursday. Jesus' name. Be blessed.